guys, Cindy Oda here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I am doing pretty well. Guess what we are here for? It's December! And this month, as you guys know, our um, prompt is celebrate. Let's celebrate and wrap it up. So what I'm going to do, I already found the page. Isn't this awful? I don't know why. But... <laughs> There's that's last month's. All right, so I found this page and I'm like, yeah, no, this has to change because this is just really, really gross. I don't know what I was thinking when I threw down some paint, but it's not going to happen. So now what we're talking about is, um, I got to get another thing to put under here. Hang on just a second. Um, is wrap it up and let's celebrate. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is celebrate getting rid of this color on this paper. And wrapping up the year. Hmm. Oops. That's a big one, isn't it? Um, you know, wrapping up. Where? What, what, what do we want to celebrate and what do we want to wrap up this year? So I think what I'm going to do basically, uh, first thing, like I said, I'm getting rid of this color. because That's just nasty. I have no idea why. Why or how that ended up like that, but we're going to get rid of it. So, um, so what I'm, how I'm going to do my page, okay, we, we've talked about, you know, all year long how mine is with art. And, yeah, there's a few things I want to celebrate in the art. I want to celebrate um, the fact that I was on a design team, which is really cool. Um, you know, yes, I'm on Gina's design team, but I was also on another design team, which is Canvas Corp. So that was really neat. It was an experience. Um, you know, one that you learn from. So it's all good. And what else do I want to celebrate? Uh, I want to celebrate the fact that um, I was able to complete some journals that I wanted to get done. That makes me very, very happy. So I can celebrate that. I can celebrate the fact that as of right now, um, you know, my family is all happy and healthy, but that really doesn't have anything to do with art, does it? No. Um, I can celebrate the fact that I have a new Facebook page um, which focuses on art and chronic pain. So yeah, that's a great great thing to celebrate, right? And here I go again doing it this way. I wonder why. Let me try this way. <laughs> so let's try doing it this way for a change. Yeah, I like this. Oh, it's pretty cool. What do you think? I like it. Much better than what was there, that brown nasty stuff. Um, so what are you guys going to celebrate this year? What are you going to, um, what do you feel that you've done throughout this year in your art world that is making you really happy? What have you done? Um, even if it's just, oh, I took a class or, you know, I went to a retreat or I was able to um, do a little bit of art every day or you know I started journaling anything like that anything that has to do with your personal growth absolutely celebrate it it's so worth it um, let me go ahead and dry this up because I want to put more paint on here and I'll be right back all right so we've got my calendar here this is pretty well dry and what I'm going to do hold on I want to get a greenish, bluish, um, right here, this will work. I'm just going to put this down with the washi tape. And of course, here's my December calendar. Um, you know, I'm not sure why. I, you know, I had planned on taking this a totally different route. That's why I ended up with all these calendars. And it didn't happen that way. But you know what? It's all right. No big deal. We're still going to use it. So what I'm going to do on this page is I'm basically just going to decorate this page and we're going to celebrate the fact that our year is complete. Um, and then what I want to do is on the next page, I'm actually going to take um, what I have completed and I'm going to do some, some stuff on the next page. But for right now, first thing I want to do is I want to put this down. 
This is one of Gina's new stamps that will be coming out soon if it hasn't already. And it says, Life and art are not about creating a perfection of expectations put up on us by others, but instead a wonderful expression of the beauty in your soul. How true is that? i got to take out my U. My U didn't come out. Come on, you. Hold on. Getting my U out of there. My U didn't want to come out. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that's going to go right here. But before I do that, I want to take some of this. This is uh, phthalo green. Hopefully I won't make a mess. Like I always do. I always end up with so much more paint than I need on my palette. And that's why I've got actually quite a few canvases over there going. And the canvases, um, I put all my extra paint on. But anyways, this is another um, one of Gina's stencils. And like I said, if it's not out, it will be coming soon. And I am just going to... Use it just like that. Just for fun. Just add a little something to this page. Right? So just to make a little bit of color. Um, so going back to that saying on that stencil, boy, is that true or is that true? And like I've said time and time and time again, art is not about the prettiest, the nicest, the most supplies, the this, that, and the other thing. Art is about looking inside of you and what makes you happy. And in my case, um, turning to art happened with my chronic pain. And it has given me an outlook, an outlet. I don't want to do this in, do I do it in white? Let's see what it looks like in white. What do you think? Let's do it in white. Um, <clears throat> the art has given me a place to go to try to get away a little bit from the pain to it, it it doesn't solve the pain issue that that doesn't happen but what it does is it allows me to put my mind in another spot and to just get away from thinking about that pain all the time that's what it does for me so what does your art do for you and and if you find that it does that for you as well, well, that's something definitely to celebrate because living in chronic pain 24-7, which is chronic pain, um, it's not fun. It's very difficult. There's some days when you wake up, if you got to sleep that night, and you just, you don't even know if you want to get out of bed and face the day. Um, it's difficult. It's difficult mentally as well as physically. So if you have found art, and it does help you with your, you know, everyday life and, and dealing with the pain, by all means, celebrate it. It definitely is so worth it. Yay! It come out. I like it. Um, <clears throat> I was wondering. I thought for a little bit I used, I did a little bit too much here and there, but that's all right. I don't mind. So let me dry this up and we'll be right back. All right. So I've decided I'm going to do some more on the white. I am going to do some snowflakes because, yeah, it's December. And you know what that means. Snow. Alright, so like I said, you know, the, this first page is just, yeah, what do I have to celebrate? I have to celebrate the fact that I have art, which has been, <laughs> that didn't turn into a snowflake, which has been a huge, huge, huge help to me. And, um, you know, find out what you have to celebrate. Maybe... Um, I don't know, maybe you have a new grandbaby. Um, maybe you were able to pay off a car or, you know, a credit card. Or maybe, you know, you've settled a, a riff with one of your loved ones or whatever the case may be. Everybody has some reason to celebrate. And I think, you know, th this month is a great time to do it. It's a great time to wrap things up. It's a great time to celebrate everything that we did throughout the year and everything we enjoyed doing. And <clears throat> just be good to people. 
right? It's that time of year. Um, I'm not going to do anything more to this page because it's simple, it's to the point, it's what I love about it. Hey guys, Cindy out here with my RC Endeavors. Okay, now I was going to make two videos. I did this page just a little bit ago and um, I just did some doodling on it, not a whole lot. And then I was going to do another video for this page, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to do it all together. So hopefully I will remember to edit out <laughs> the ending on this last page. If I don't, Sorry, we'll get two endings. All right, so um, what I talked about is I'm actually going to take this page, and this page I'm going to work on um, the things that I want to celebrate that I accomplished. Now, it's got the blue and yellow on here, which is kind of cool. This is another one of Gina's stencils that um, if you don't have, if it's not in her Etsy shop yet, it will be. Um, let me, I just want to see how this yellow is going to be for me. All right, it's going to work because I'm going to do some doodling around the yellow. <clears throat> and these are going to be places that I plan on putting. I might actually even do another color on this. Hang on, we'll just we'll see how this goes. I plan on putting um, more I plan on putting what, um, geez, I can't even think right now. Ugh, I can't think and talk at the same time. This is where I plan on doing my journaling on the things that I want to celebrate, um, that I accomplished this last year. And one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll do one more right here. And that's where I want to be able to write this stuff in. So that's what I'm doing right now with this stencil as I'm making that. So give me a minute. All right, now I want to put another color over top of that because I like the yellow, but I also, I still want it to pop out more. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Um, it says brilliant blue purple. To me, it looks kind of like a periwinkle. I want a little bit of this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this here. And I'm going to use a new sponge because I don't really want to make it green. Let's see what happens if I do it with a new sponge. Hopefully, maybe it won't make them green with any luck, but I am just going to put it back down where it was, and I'm going to shift it just a touch, and let's see what happens. And I can tell you right now, I'm not sure I like it. Oh, I don't really like it. <laughs> So I'm going to do a couple more just because I already did one. So I've got to do a couple more. So we're going to find where we had it set, which is right there. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to turn it just a touch. Right? And we'll do that. And you know what I'm going to end up doing? I'm going to end up redoing these it's not too bad let's let's keep doing it why not so anyways like I said what I'm gonna do is these are gonna be my spots that I'm gonna journal and um, write down the things that I have accomplished this year um, a couple of them I can you know tell you what I'm doing uh, one of them is I accomplished finishing my very first dilution notebook that I had worked in excuse me journal um, my very first dilution journal that I had worked in. I actually finished it and I did a video, I'm sure you guys have seen it. And I, I'm just really, really happy because that was one of the things that I really wanted to accomplish is finishing that journal. Um, I've also finished up a few glue books that I've had laying around that I just, I'll, you know, I work in a journal for so long or a glue book and then I'm like, yeah, I wanna do something different. And I pick up another one and start it. and. This year has been all about um, stopping that. Stop, you know, stop picking up a new journal just because. All right, I've got it on my spot. Now I'm going to turn it a little bit. And that's what gives it that kind of two color deal there. All right, so let me just do this one. And then we have one more. <clears throat> so like I said, that's one of my... Um, one of the things that I'm really, really happy about that I accomplished this year is finishing up journals. 
Um, what else have I accomplished this year? Um, I've done the full year of design team with Gina Ahrens. And, um, you know, you know, everybody's like, oh, but, you know, you're friends with her. Yeah, I am friends with her, but it's still, it's an accomplishment to go the entire year, you know, uh, doing prompts and that kind of stuff because it does take, it takes time. Um, you know, I've stuck with my commitments, and that's, that's really an accomplishment for me in in a couple ways. One, because um, it's hard sometimes to stay with a commitment, especially for a full year. Other times is because um, after a while, I'm just, I'm the type of person that I get bored. If I don't, you know, if, if things don't change, I can't keep doing the same thing over and over again, because if I do, I'll get bored. So it's great for me that I was able to finish the accomplishments. And I think part of the reason I was able to is because nothing is ever the same in mixed media. And that's what has drawn me to this medium. And that's one of the reasons I love it so much is because the, every day is different. Every journal page is different. Every... Every time I pick up a supply, I can do something different with it. I don't have to only use it in a certain way or only do it, um, you know, with a certain tool. Or it, it's so different because I get to play. And that is really, really important to me. I have to be able to do that. Um, you know, we've all done, if you're a crafty person, I'm sure you've all done cross stitch, you know, crocheting, knitting, um, all of that. Well, those to me are repetitive. Yes, I know how to crochet. Yes, I know how to knit. I will never knit anything in my life because it takes so long to get see any progress whatsoever. I absolutely hate it. So, um, yeah, I'm not a knitter. But with mixed media, I have the freedom to... I have the freedom to walk in my studio and do whatever I feel like doing. And that in itself is just amazing. So now what I want to do, I took this, I, I whitened out that background because I wanted these journaling spots to stick out. And I'm going to be doing um, some black pen around those and stuff, but I want something little. Let's use this. This is my mini book of um, stencils. So I want to use this green. And I just want to put... There we go. There we go. Just some more color in here. Just something different. Love it. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this up really well. Whoops, I'm going to throw my index cards at you. Um, <clears throat> dry it up really well, and then we're going to start doing our journaling, our doodling, and all that on there. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so what I did is I just took this black pen. This is a Rollerball 2, <clears throat> 0.7 mm, and I'm losing my voice. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> um, and I've just written a few things in here. One of them is that I finished that Dilution Journal, which is that great big one, and I was just so excited about that. My Story, which if any of you guys are following me, you know I do a, um, a video series called My Story on um, YouTube, and that's, that is going to continue. And the reason I celebrate that and I feel that is accomplishment is because I'm reaching people out there that normally would not talk about some of the... Um, discussions that we have in the my story such as guilt and depression and anger and so I'm really I'm really happy with that and I'm really excited about that series and I can't wait for it to continue because I just I think it's great to be able to reach people and help them chronic pain management <clears throat> I put this in here because I am learning slowly how to manage my chronic pain um, I am learning things that will cause me pain things I should not do um, it's a learning process. I don't think you ever get chronic panic, chronic pain under control completely. I, I don't think that's possible. 
but I am celebrating the fact that I'm recognizing my triggers. I am recognizing what causes me pain and I'm recognizing what I have to do to keep that pain under control. So that's fantastic for me. Keeping with commitments, again, chronic pain comes into this and the freedom of mixed media comes into this, which I talked about a little bit ago. Um, I can keep with my, my commitments and I've done that all year round, all year long, and I will continue to do into next year. This one says, great friends in Tuesday chat. Um, I started quite a while ago on Tuesdays um, doing a Google Hangout, which has been morphed into a, a Zoom application um, where I put an announcement out there. We have a great group of girls. We get together on Tuesdays and it's all video and audio and we just sit in our rooms and, and, and chat and we've become really good friends and it's just a great place to share and ask ideas and opinions and, and just talk about life in general. It doesn't all have to be about art. So that's fantastic. Now I still have two spots here. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in those two spots. Um, one of them is going to be, actually I do know one of them. <clears throat> And it'll be this one. That one I put, I continue to grow. And what I mean by that is I continue to grow in art. Um, I enjoy learning. I've told you guys that before. Uh, learning is huge for me. I, it's something I have to do or I go stir crazy. So... I do continue to grow. <clears throat> this is my um, book review tag, which I haven't finished yet. Um, we have to do this month's book review, and I'll do that, and it'll go right here in this pocket, and that's going to be home. Um, this one I'm going to leave for right now, because as I get even closer to the end of the year, I may decide something that I want to put in there. All right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, it's short, it's sweet, it's simple. That's the way I want it to be. And definitely um, celebrate and recognize what you've been through and where you're at in your journey, whether it be your art journey, your spiritual journey, your journaling journey, or your chronic pain journey, any of those above. Um, definitely celebrate them this month and give yourself a pat on the back. We all deserve that. All right? As always, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and do a thumbs up, and happy creating. I hope you guys have a great month, have a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you guys again next year. Have fun. That's what life's all about. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.